Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to change the spark plugs on a 2015 Ford Escape. This will be the same for models 2013 to 2019, and this is for the two liter. Let's get started. All right, to do this project, you're gonna need four Motocraft spark plugs. These are SP550s, some anesthesia lubricant for your plugs, a socket wrench. You're gonna need an eight millimeter socket a T25 Torx bit, a flathead screwdriver, a 5 8 spark plug socket, and an 8 millimeter wrench. A couple extensions. I would highly recommend you use a locking extension just so you don't get your sockets locked, stuck down inside the engine bay. Um, here, these are these come in handy. These this is just a swivel extender, and you're gonna need a torque wrench to torque down the spark plugs to spec. Highly recommend using a flexible socket wrench because this is gonna help you get in them tight spaces a lot easier, and you'll see why in a minute. First thing you're gonna do is pop your hood. Alright, the first thing you're going to do is just lift this cover off the top, it just pops straight up. There's just four tabs that hold it on, so you just lift it straight up. Oh. Alright, once you get the cover off, you'll be able to see your coils, which you have four of them. One, two, three, four. The first thing we're going to do is just loosen up the brake reservoir just to get that out of the way. For that you're just going to use a T25 Torx bit screw. There's just two screws and you're going to push that out of the way. Next we're going to be removing the intake hose. All right, first thing we're going to do is just remove this clamp right here and just push that out of the way also. And then there's an eight millimeter bolt right here. Just put it off to the side. Also on the intake, when you're taking it off, it's a good idea to take this piece off. To do that, all you do is there's a tab on this side and a tab on this side. You just tinch them back. That little green piece will slide right off. All right, once you pull the little tab out, you just push down on this part right here. And it slides right off like that. All right, and next we're just going to loosen up the on the clamp. Okay, like that. Then you're just gonna pull it off there. Once you get it off, you just pull it out. And just move it out of the way for now. And now you have access to all four cool packs, and that's all you have to do. All right, so all you have to do is you wanna come in here and you wanna pull these pins. So it's gonna be a little bit easier to work in here if you remove the oil stick, just pull that out of the way. All right, so next now you're gonna wanna disconnect all your coil packs. So all you do is you press down and pull back. They come off really easy. Just move those out of the way. That's for each one. Once you get all four coil packs disconnected, 
Now you're gonna take an eight millimeter, millimeter socket and you're gonna remove all four bolts on all four coil packs. There's also a holder that is connected to these, these screws here, so you have to remove those too. This bolt here I couldn't get to because this piece is still in the way, so I'm just gonna be using a little eight millimeter um, wrench. If you have a smaller socket wrench nearby, you can use that. Uh, this is what I have right next to me, so I'm just gonna use that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these coils and then I'm gonna vacuum this out, blow it out, make sure no dirt, see how there's leaves in here. I don't want any of that getting down into the engine, so I'm gonna clean all that out first before I remove the plug. I haven't had any, issue, any issues with the coil packs, I haven't had any misfire codes, so the coils are are good so I'm just going to be changing the plugs today. Now that I got it vacuumed out, I'm actually going to blow it out with a air tool. And that just gets all the fine sand and dirt out of there so I don't get any of that down inside the cylinder. And I'm good to go. Alright, so next I'm going to be removing the plugs. I'm going to be using a locking extension with a 5 8 plug socket. in there. And I have an adjust and I have a flexible wrench. If you don't have these you can use a four inch extension. Let's turn it and loosen them up. Get it loose, then you just pull it right out. These plugs have some long threads on them. Pull it out. Once you get it out, just pull it out. Yep, these were definitely ready for a change. So I'm going with um, factory replacement um, Ford. These are the Motocraft. Um, SP550. I'll leave a link down in the description on everything that I used today. So I suggest if you have anti seize, it's good. It's good to use it that way. These plugs don't ever seize up, and it makes it easier next time you go to change the plugs. You don't need a lot. You just need a little bit. Like that. You just want to rub the end of the threads. You don't want to get it on the t on the actual part down here. You just want to work a little bit of it into the threads here. Like that. Take your extension, plug it in there, and I'm going to just do it, and then we're just going to put it right back in the way we took it out. So I'm going to put it gently in. Like that. And you want to make sure you get the thread started smoothly first. You don't want to cross thread these. So I'm just going to get them tight and then I'm going to torque them all down at the end to get them all the same. Just get it hand tight for now. 
and then you're going to repeat the process on all the holes. Okay, put the new plug on with some anti-seize, anti not anti-freeze. Just get it hand tight. recommend these flexible socket wrenches they make it a lot easier because if not you would be hitting on everything in here So next I'm going to be torquing these to about 12 foot pounds. All right, so next I'm going to be torquing these down to about 12 foot pounds. The specs on the plugs, the specs on the plugs say between 7.2 and 14.4, so I'm going to do it right about in the middle. So I'm just going to get these on there. I'm using a little angle extender just to kind of get in there and get a little better of a angle. Good. This is why you need the locking extension. And just do each one the same way. And then you're good. All right, once you got all your plugs torqued to spec, you're just gonna replace your coils. Same way you took them off. Slide right down in there. That. And then use your, put your bolts back in while you took them off. Don't have to be super tight, just tight enough to where they don't move. And then replace your little clip back on top of your screw, like that. And then just repeat the process for each one. This one, remember, was a little bit tight, so I'm going to use my 8mm wrench for this one. And then the last one.
You can place your clip. All right. Next, all you're going to do is just plug in all your coils again, and they just slide right back on. And they're all back together. All right, next we're just gonna install the intake hubs. So make sure it slides right back on there. Put on your brake reservoir. And then next, just put on your intake hose again so it clicks. And then replace your little tab underneath. Uh, make sure it clicks on there. Like that. Replace your oil stick and reconnect the clamp that you took off earlier. Like that. And you're ready to go. I'm just gonna test it real quick, make sure everything looks good. And lastly, you're gonna put your cover back on. Line it up. And then this just pushes down on top of those prongs. Okay, and once they all click down, you're good to go. Well, that's how you change the spark plugs on a Ford Escape. Hope you found the video helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.